shoes, check out the white shoes, check out the white shoes. Dad, what's, what's for dinner? dinner? Check out the white shoes, check out the white shoes, check out the white shoes. <coughs> Ooh, the peppers there. I'm getting them out the rope. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dad What's For Dinner. Today I'm making some salt and pepper chicken wings. Now if you've had salt and pepper chicken wings before, then you already know why they call them crack wings. And if you haven't, then you're in for a pretty good treat today. Um, especially if you like hot wings and things of that nature or just fried chicken in general. Um, I've actually been trying to make these salt and pepper chicken wings for years now. Um, first had them, you know, at a Chinese restaurant spot. Um, and they were just amazing. So, I, you know, I've been trying to figure out this recipe. Um, I finally, I think I put together something that's really, really good. Um, but if you guys would like to make them, then join me and let's get started. All right, guys, but first things first, we always start off with our ingredient list. So we got about one and a half pounds of chicken wings. Um, we're gonna do one ounce of diced bell pepper. I usually use like a sweet pepper for this, but I couldn't find any. So we're gonna do just a bell pepper. Uh, with the equivalent of three cloves of garlic. I like to kind of cheat on the garlic sometimes and use the pre-minced garlic. Uh, three shallot cloves, um, two hot chilies. Um, so normally you would see like the red chilies um, at the Chinese takeout place, um, but I couldn't find red chilies, so we're just doing some, some serrano chilies. Um, and these are pretty hot. Um, let's see, one tablespoon of ginger. So we're gonna peel that um, and get about a tablespoon of that minced up. Um, two stalks of the green onions. Um, about six tablespoons of the potato starch. And again, I'm using potato starch instead of flour or cornstarch, just because it fries up a lot lighter. Um, it just has a better crunch, I, I think. Um, five cups of the corn oil, um, just because Obviously, we, we need enough to fry the actual chicken and cover it. You want, you want to make sure it's covered. So however much chicken you're using, you want to make sure that it's actually going to cover um, the actual chicken then. Um, then also, after you're done frying it, you're going to need about two tablespoons um, for a later step in this process here. All right, guys, we got another set of ingredients, so we'll get to the marinade piece now. All right, guys, we've got our next set of ingredients here. This is for the marinade, so you're going to need half a teaspoon of uh, pepper. I'm using black pepper, but white pepper tastes really, really good with this. Um, one tablespoon of just your regular light soy sauce. Um, one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Um, then I have, let's see, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. I'm probably not saying that right. I'm not sure if it's Shaoxing or Shaoxing. Um, and then you have half a tablespoon of some dark soy sauce here. Um, and then for the seasoning at the end, um, so after everything, so that's for the marinade, and then once we fry everything up, um, we're gonna stir fry all the ingredients together. You're gonna need um, one teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of just regular salt. Um, then you're also gonna need another half a teaspoon of some black pepper there, so I'll throw that there. And then I like to sprinkle, and I know this is like MSG, so people don't really mess with it, but I like to sprinkle a little bit of that when it's all cooked up. Um, so about half a teaspoon of some accent or some MSG, whatever you guys got there. But this is optional. You can leave that out. These things taste amazing, so you don't really need that, is it? Need that either. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. First thing you want to do is just dump your wings in a bowl because we're going to actually wash and rinse these and then we're gonna dry them out here. Now we're just gonna fill this up with some water. And get those nice and covered. All right, so you're just gonna wanna get your hands in here um, and try to squeeze out any of the blood, the myoglobin. There's not really too much in these ones, but just squeeze them out it'll actually help them cook a lot better, a lot quicker, a lot more evenly. So we're just gonna get in there and just squeeze. Squeeze it all out. Yeah, 
these ones didn't have too much uh, myoglobin or blood in here, so that's that's a plus. So that makes that process real easy. All right, next up, we're gonna pat these dry because um, the dry wing will, the seasoning will stick to it a lot better. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I got a paper plate here, and we're just gonna take these off. And actually, let's put a paper towel underneath these and just kind of let those drip off a little bit. And then we're gonna get another paper towel and pat these dry. All right, and I got some paper towels here. Let's see if we can get these dry pretty quick. And actually, this water, let's go ahead and dump that down the sink now. Make sure you don't splash all over anything. All right, there we go. So let's make sure these are good and dry. Get them as dry as possible. You just don't want them super like soft and wet and dripping and whatnot. See, you might find some feathers in there you could pull off. Just squeeze them a little bit, get all the water out of them. All right, guys, so we're gonna make our marinade now. So I'm just using the same bowl I rinsed that chicken out, I just washed it out. Um, but we're gonna add our half a teaspoon of white pepper. I know this is one teaspoon, but I just used half of it. All right, I got one tablespoon of the light soy sauce going in here. One tablespoon of the dark soy sauce. And we got one tablespoon of the oyster sauce going in there. It's kind of thick, but there we go. And we got our one tablespoon of our cooking wine. Again, it's a Shaoxing wine. If you guys can find that, you do like a dry sherry, um, that should work as well. Um, let's get all those ingredients in there. I'm just going to mix this in a little bit, get all the ingredients mixed, but um, oyster sauce is real thick, so just make sure to kind of get it all mixed in there. Then let's go ahead and throw in our wings. Now we want to get these all coated, we just want to kind of toss it, almost like if you're making hot wings or something, you want to get it all tossed in there. Um, and that that cooking wine will help break down some of the uh, fibers in the chicken there, make it kind of a little more tender and juicy when you cook it. So we just want to kind of get this coated. There we go. Then actually, I'm going to use my hand, my hands here, and I'm going to squeeze some of this into the actual. Um, Chicken. You know what? And I forgot I got food gloves, so I'm gonna put those on real quick. All right, let's see if I can get these things on. All right, it's like I'm doing some surgery here. But let's go ahead and kind of mix and squeeze and force some of that marinade into the chicken. There we go. There we go. really smell that wine in there. It smells good. All right. And again, I got all these ingredients off of Amazon, um, from the wine to the soy sauce to, actually the oyster sauce, I got that from Walmart from, because I keep that in my house for when I make my fried rice. So if you're looking for another uh, 
meal that goes with this, I got that fried rice recipe. So go check that out too. All right. All right, you can see, look how dark that is in the meat. It's getting in there pretty good, which is what we want. This is gonna turn out amazing. Now you can also, if you wanted to, you can also kind of cut slits into the um, chicken there and kind of cut into the meat and that'll help get that seasoning down there a little more I'm kind of pressed for time this morning I'm actually gonna be on my way out I'm just gonna let these marinate for about a couple hours until lunchtime here and then um, some people let this marinate overnight you actually only need to let it marinate for probably only 30 minutes really to tell you the truth but like I said I'm gonna let it marinate until about lunchtime here so about a, another uh, three hours here before I start frying these up so all right that looks good all right we're just gonna set these wings aside and when that's marinating we can get to our next step um, and actually start cutting up some of our aromatics um, and some of our peppers and things of that nature and get those ready all right so I just covered the bowl in some saran wrap and I'm gonna go put that in the fridge um, for a few hours here. Um, I'll probably take it out about 30 minutes prior to frying my chicken to let it kind of get more up to room temperature. But for now, like I said, I'm gonna be gone for a couple hours here, so it's going in the fridge. All right, guys, I've actually forgot to add the ginger to the marinade, so I'm gonna peel this real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna chop this guy up. Only need about a tablespoon's worth, so that's probably more than enough there. But let's go ahead and chop up a few pieces. And again, this is just going into the marinade, so it doesn't need to look pretty at all. All right, so we're looking at about a tablespoon. Just roughly kind of measure that. All right, so we got that ginger in there. I'm gonna, I mixed it up. I'm gonna go throw it back in the fridge now. All right guys, next we're gonna cut up some green onions and get those uh, little stir fry aromatic things ready. It's gonna cut off this little root part there. Now we basically want the white parts, not necessarily the green parts up here, um, cause these will cook a lot faster and could burn. So I'm just gonna chop off like right there maybe. Um, obviously save these for some other dishes because these are some good green onions. Um, and then I'm just gonna just cut those. So if you can, try to get some green onions that have more of the white part, not necessarily the green. I might just do one more because I do want a little more green onion. So let me grab one more. And again, I'm just gonna cut off the, the really, really green part there. Take a little stem off. And we're just gonna dice those. Again, we want the wider or the lighter parts because um, the green parts will burn up on you when you're stir frying everything together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut our little chilies here. Again, these are Serrano chilies. Let's cut the little stem off. Again, I'm using Serrano because I couldn't find the little red chilies, but these should be pretty hot. And we're just gonna Cut if I can just watch your fingers. It's kind of hard to get a hold of these guys here. And we're just gonna cut them into little discs, I guess you can call it. Now just for note there, I put the uh, green onions in a separate bowl here because we're gonna saute about half of them and then half we're gonna go as like a garnishment so, so we 
go to the side. We're gonna do our bell pepper next. Again, we only need about an ounce. So I'm just gonna cut that top off. This is probably not the best method of doing this, but hey, we go dump this out. And we don't need too much here. I'm gonna cut them. Just try to dice them up, really. Don't have to be perfect. Again, I gotta work on my knife skills here. I'm not the best, but hey, it's all gonna taste delicious. Let's get that bitter piece out of there. All right, then we got our shallots here. Now I'm just gonna cut these just straight across like that. Nothing special. This one's kind of big. I should have maybe cut it down the middle, which I may still do. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's cut that guy down the middle. So that one's kind of a big one. And the same there. There we go. And this one we'll just do cut across. All right, there we go. And just to know here, and at this point we would be uh, you know, cutting up our garlic as well. But since I'm actually cheating and I'm just gonna use the minced garlic out of the can, we won't be doing that right now, so. All right guys, so this next step here, since we got everything cut up here, um, I actually had my chicken marinate for about a good two hours. Um, so I'm gonna start my oil. I'm using some corn oil. Uh, you want anything with a high smoke one, basically, right? Um, so I'm going to get that going now, get that up to temperature, and then I'm going to get my dry seasonings uh, mixed up real quick, and then I will begin coating the chicken here. But I'm going to get the oil ready now, just so we're ready to fry. All right, let's go. All right, we need half a teaspoon of salt. Again, this is the one teaspoon, but we'll just do half of that. Doesn't have to be exact right, guys. All right. Half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of garlic salt, and that's all we need. Then we can just kind of mix that together, and that'll be our seasoning when we're stir frying. Real simple ingredients. There, a lot of ingredients, but they're real simple. All right, guys. So we are going to dredge the chicken in our potato starch here. So I just got some on a plate. That's the easy, easiest way to do it. So what I'm gonna try to do is keep my hands somewhat clean. I'm gonna grab the wet chicken with my left hand, put it in the, uh, what do you call it here, the potato starch, and dredge it with my right hand, um, and then place it on a separate plate there. This way I'm not mixing juices and potato starch all over the place. So that's the goal here. Let me grab another plate and let's start. All right, so, and again, remember we have, I put those thick chunks of garlic or um, ginger, so I just wanna make sure I'm not, um, you know, grabbing any of that here. But let's go ahead and dredge it in here. And again, shake off any excess and also squeeze it into the chicken. So you can kinda see how I'm kinda squeezing it in there so it kinda sticks really well and gets in all those little nooks and crannies and this way you can have some pretty um, crunchy chicken there. So we're just gonna do that here. Again, we're gonna squeeze it into it. the chicken. 
All right, guys, your oil should be nice and hot after coating those wings. Make sure you shake off the excess. But let's go ahead and check our oil to see if it's around 300 degrees. That's what we're looking for because we're going to fry these in batches. We're going to do um, two fries. We're basically going to fry at 300 degrees uh, to get everything fully cooked at a lower temperature. And then we're going to fry at a higher temperature. Um, oh, and our oil is at 300 degrees. Let's go ahead and drop our chicken in. Uh, but I, as I was saying is, we're going to fry that in batches, basically. So we're going to do a lower fry at 300 degrees, and then we're going to come back at 350 degrees to get that uh, outside crust nice and crunchy. Um, I'm going to start off with the drums first because they are thicker, so it does take them a little longer to, to fry. So we're going to do the drums first um, and get those nice and uh, cooked all the way through. And then we'll come back with the flats in the second batch. And get that excess off. And you want to just keep track of the temperature of the oil. You don't want it too hot or too low. Let's go ahead and check again. See how we're looking here. All right, we're a little over 300. Let's go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Okay, in about three minutes, we're gonna flip them over. Get that part fried up nice. Again, you're only gonna flash fry this for about maybe five minutes tops just to make sure they're cooked all the way through, but get them to the level that you want them. So that looks pretty good so far. Again, let's check our oil. Make sure we're, let's make sure we're still around 300 degrees. So you should keep checking your oil, make sure you're still around 300 degrees for this fry. All right, we're a little low, let's turn the heat up a little bit. All right, so that's been about, uh, maybe close to six minutes actually here. Um, but we did that initial fry, just to kind of get um, that first cook through good at a lower temperature, so they look pretty good. Let's go ahead and pull them out. I'm gonna just throw them on a plate here with a paper towel. And then we'll get our flats ready to go dump those in next. All right, so before we drop our flats in, let's go ahead and check the temperature again, make sure we're still around that 300 mark. And if, we, if we're not, let's try to bring it to 300 either by lowering the temperature or bringing it up, bringing the heat up a little more. Now we're getting there, we're pretty close. All right, we're about 300. There we go. So that's good, let's go ahead and let's drop our flats in now. And again, these take a little less longer to actually uh, cook. I just saw a little feather there, let's pull that out. These take a lot less longer to cook, so. These we're gonna, just until they get golden brown, then we're gonna flip them right. Um, so again, probably about five minutes. And we'll come back and flip those over here in a second. All right, let's check on these flats. Let's see, look pretty good. Let's go ahead and flip them over. Again, we're just getting them nice and golden brown. Cooking at 300 just to get that, make sure they're cooked all the way through. There we go. All right, so first fry of the flats are done. Let's go ahead and pull those out. And again, we're going to fry these twice to get that outside nice and crunchy the way we like it. So 
let's put these aside and let's go ahead and get that oil up to 350 now. All right, so our oil's up to 350. Drop these in here. This will get the outside nice and crunchy. And again, we're just doing the drumettes right now. Just get that outside nice and crunchy. And you want to try to keep the temperature as close to 350 as possible. So let's double check that temperature. All right, turn the temperature down a little bit there. We're getting over 350 pretty good there, so let's turn that down. All right, after you see that skin get nice and tight and crunchy, go ahead and flip it. I already flipped mine, but you'll see the skin get, start getting real crunchy, getting a little darker there. Um, so you're gonna flip it and cook the other side there. All right, these are looking really good. The skin's nice and crunchy, nice and tight. I can't hear it over all the fine, but trust me, they are good. Pull those off. I'm just going to throw them in this paper towel here. And then we'll put the flats in, and then we'll get ready to stir fry these. All right, let me just throw these flats in. And again, throughout this whole process, we're checking our oil and stuff, making sure it's the right temperature. Now these should be nice and crunchy on the outside. All right, these have been cooking for about two minutes on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. There we go, they're nice and crunchy on that side. Again, like I said, the flats take a lot less longer to cook. Um, but yeah, they've been cooking for about two or three minutes so far, so I'm just gonna flip them and probably do another two to three minutes on the other side. Just until that gets like crunchy, um, you can fry them however you wanna kinda of fry them. I like mine's like really, really hard fried and crunchy. Um, so I'm gonna let fry up a little more. Then we'll pull those out and then we'll start getting ready to uh, stir fry them with our veggies and aromatics. All right, this is about another Two minutes on that side, so I'm going to go ahead and yank them out of here and put them on a paper towel. Alright, there we go. So let's get ready to stir fry those veggies. All right, so I got my skillet on. I'm just gonna grab about two, that's probably more than two tablespoons, but some oil from the fryer that we just, um, that we just fried our chicken wings in. Move that to this pot over here. Get this pot skillet nice and hot. Then let's go grab our veggies. All right, when our skillet nice and hot, we're just gonna toss our veggies in there. Hear that sizzle. And we're just gonna stir fry this up. All right, I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit before we add our chicken to it, just to kind of bring out some of those flavors first, since our chicken is well done here. So we're just gonna stir fry that up. I'm gonna break up these shallots a little bit more. We've got our peppers, We've got our green onions, some bell peppers, some serrano peppers, just because we didn't have the uh, little red peppers that you normally see in this dish, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, you know what? And let's add our garlic to this as well. 
All right, so let's add our garlic. I'm a, I like a lot of garlic, so let's gonna dump a lot of garlic in here. Got garlic flavor in there. And we're just gonna stir fry that up a little bit just to kind of bring those smells and flavors out. Before we add our chicken. So again, we got our garlic in here, we got our green onions, we got our chili peppers, we have our bell peppers, and we have our shallots. And again, if you don't have some of these ingredients, you can always substitute. Put that cooked down a little bit before we add our chicken. And then we still gotta add our seasoning mix that we have here. So again, that's just the uh, salt, pepper, and garlic salt. And then the optional, if you want to add some MSG or some uh, accent to that, you can. All right, well, that's sauteing. Let's go ahead and throw our chicken in there. We're going to stir fry it all together. And again, customize the recipe as you want. If you don't want to do this last step, I mean, you got some good chicken wings here. You don't need to. Um, if you want less heat, you know, add less peppers or don't even put peppers if you don't want to. Do some garlic and shallots. Um, let's go ahead and add our seasoning to that as well. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Make sure to try to get every wing if possible. I'm gonna flip these wings over just to make sure I season every one of them. sure I actually season each of these wings so they all got some flavor on them. Then we'll go ahead and start stir frying and mixing it all together. All right. All right, let's go ahead and start stir frying this all together and kind of mixing it with all these other ingredients. And we want to kind of get them all uh, touching all these. <coughs> Ooh, those peppers there. Get them on my throat. Chicken wings to soak up all the oils and all the flavor. And again, if you have a wok, this might actually be a lot easier, but I did not grab my wok, unfortunately. All right. Gonna sprinkle those on there. All right, we have our last little bit of fresh green onion. Let's go ahead and sprinkle that on top. There we go. And that's the finished product. Let's give it a little taste test. Oops, almost forgot one last thing. Dump some uh, accent in there and toss it up a little bit. We need to get a spoon to toss that.
There we go, and just mix that up in there. Should have did that in the pan, it would have been a lot easier, but, and again, that's optional. I know some people are against MSG in that form, but I think it tastes good on these wings, so let's give it another, let's give it a shot. Let's, let's taste it. All right, we're giving a little taste test, let's see. Mmm. That's delicious. Super crunchy. Mm, some good umami flavor from that accent. Mm. Well, that's the best wings I ever had. Delicious. If you guys like it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Try the recipe out. Let me know what you guys think. But, man, this, this just hit my lunch break. So perfect timing. I'm about to tear this shit up. All right, guys. Have a good one.